My name is Dennis Manganye. Welcome to my podcast, Interrogating Strategy. Mr. Idris William, welcome to our podcast. So if you don't mind, can you briefly introduce your company and uh, why you decided to attend the Solar Africa Conference? Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for having me here. It's a great honor and pleasure. My name is Idris Moliam. I'm uh, the director in charge of energy loss reduction at NAO Cameroon. NAO Cameroon is the historical utility uh, and electricity business in Cameroon. So let me give you a very short uh, historic background of the company. Um, we have been uh, so far a state-owned company uh, like ESCOM here in, with generation, transmission and distribution. In uh, 2001, actually, uh, the government decided to privatize the company and 66% uh, of the shell were actually acquired by AES Corporation, it was a, an American firm. Then back in 2014, uh, Actis, uh, British uh, investment private equity, actually acquired the 56 percent share of AES Corporation and then became the new owner of NAO Cameron. Uh, in 2021, uh, we actually had the spin-off of the transmission to the state of Cameroon and uh, in the same time we had a new concession agreement for 20 years for the distribution and uh, the generation side. From the generation side point of view, we are now uh, having, let's say, um, not the total capacity installed. We have 66% of the capacity installed and we have some other IPPs coming in. So uh, actually the installed capacity is uh, about 1.6, uh, sorry, 1,600 megawatts, uh, mainly hydro. Uh, just for information, Cameroon has uh, a very impressive potential in terms of hydro. Uh, following Atlas record, we're talking about 23,000 megawatts capacity, and only 3% is actually tapped in, it's actually used. So, uh, if you look at the mix, actually, uh, we have, uh, let's say, as I mentioned before, 66%, which is hydro, we have between 12 and 15 percent, which is thermal, right. gas, but also um, LFO and HFO, right. and uh, a little bit of solar. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are currently going very aggressively on a renewable. Uh, we have uh, a plan to uh, ramp up uh, by 2030 to uh, about 5,000 megawatt generation capacity installed. Among that, 83% uh, will account for hydro. And we're gonna downgrade uh, gas and uh, fuel. Right. And enhance a little bit also uh, solar. Right. So definitely, uh, we can say that by 2030, we're going to be around 90% uh, renewable. Interesting. So uh, it, it, it's a very yeah. aggressive plan. Very much so. And, uh, I mean, given that 54% um, of the population in Cameroon has electricity, right? Is that, is, is that the correct, correct. figure? Yeah, yeah. And uh, right. obviously consumption also remains very low. Okay, uh, definitely from the generation side, as I said, yeah. uh, we are going very aggressively. And um, what we have to do now is to make sure that from the transmission and the distribution side, yeah. obviously the investment and infrastructure shows are as following. Right. Uh, we are actually embedded in program with the World Bank mm -hmm. in order to give access to electricity to you know rural area, but also to the low-income people. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we actually uh, installing massive campaign of prepaid man meters right. in order, and also uh, in the meantime. We're actually working on densify network, creating new lines, MV line, LV line through the village, to the rural area, and also on some of the urban city 
where actually we have a lot of suburbs that right. are still kind of not very well supplied. Right. So it's a, an ambitious program and we have a lot of support from you know lenders uh, and also financial institution as I mentioned uh, the World Bank but you know you have the, also the AFBD right. you know and uh, some other you know uh, key partners in uh, the financial institution so definitely everything is set to you know uh, significantly increase this number for just give me uh, some numbers uh, we have now started uh, since uh, the 1st of January this year, a program with the World Bank, and we have already uh, installed 40,000 smart meters on the field. We have uh, an ambitious goal of installing about 2,100 meters this year, and, and we are in course to reach that target, continuing next year. So definitely a lot of things are going on in order to support from the distribution side, what is actually currently going on on the generation side, by getting you know a, a lot of a lot of potential and a lot of you know uh, generation asset in place, in order to reach you know hand customer and make the you know electricity affordable and available to the maximum of our you know population. Great. No thanks for that, Chris. Now let's move back to the Solar Africa 2023. Okay. You will. You participated in a panel discussion yesterday on uh, smart appliances and consumer devices integration, uh, achieving energy efficiency. What are some of the key points that uh, uh, you focus on yesterday and what lessons can we draw from um, uh, 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 what you guys shared yesterday? Yeah, that's a good point. First of all, I want to say that it was a very interesting discussion, you know, a lot of good, you know, uh, panelist and um, a great moderator uh, you know uh, as a, you know take away what we can say is uh, you know um, definitely uh, it, it, the, 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 the key points uh, lie into how can we uh, strengthen the usage of smart metering in order to push forward the efficiencies because um, what, 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 what I actually share as an experience with Cameroon, what we're doing in Cameroon, it's we're going massively on smart metering and prepayment metering because that allowed consumer to kind of moderate and also uh, get, you know, uh, a much more flexible way of consuming. Right. And it, it, it will give you a, a kind of flow patterns on how you consume and what are the appliances that actually are really, you know, cost effective, but also energy, you know, e effective. Right. And, 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 and based on that, you know, you also have the possibility to have the customer witnessing his consumption real time. Right. And the fact that you give access to those information to the customer will, of course, educate them, sensitize them, and make sure that they are consuming on a much more efficient manner and obviously, if that's happened, end of the day, that will bring a lot of benefit into the you know, uh, system and make sure that you know, emissions are much more controlled and, and, and we're using only the necessary electricity that is needed. Great. So Idris, my last question. In this conference here, you can see that there are a lot of players uh, from Asian uh, countries and um, we can see that uh, it's quite competitive and uh, we don't see a lot of African-owned companies partic participating in this conference. Um, I want you to tell me how are you managing the situation in Cameroon to ensure that there's full participation by local companies? That's a very good point. I, I think, um, first of all, uh, it's, uh, it's something that has to be taken in consideration by the government. Uh, you have to encourage, you have to actually uh, empower local businesses. You have also to make sure that, you know, especially in the energy, electricity or, you know, sector, we have a governance, solid governance, you know, that allowed, you know, people to enter businesses, to have access to finance and also uh, have a lot of incentive and uh, 
one of the things also that is important is to make sure that we can attract you know, foreign investment, but put in place a framework that would allow local competitors or local partners to deal with that foreign investment and make some deal and partnership, win-win partnership. And another thing is important is to kind of foster and encourage South-South cooperation. You know, uh, we have a lot of things to learn from South Africa yeah. and in the other hand, you know, I, I actually mentioned the fact that we have a lot of advanced technology in terms of smart metering, yeah. also in terms of renewable, we're doing a lot of things, right. renewable, but also hybridation, uh, you know, uh, mini hydro. So in both sides, there is a kind of two-way street where we have to foster and encourage the cooperation with you know South African countries yes. and reinforce the tie that we already have right. in the continent so uh, I'm very hopeful for the future and I hope uh, definitely this kind of uh, conference will actually be much more successful in the future and we have a lot of participants coming from Africa South African company yes uh, Andres, thank you so much for your contribution and your participation in our podcast uh, interrogating strategy and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you again, once again, for having me here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. Yeah.